Hey, how's it going guys? Phil here, and I'm going to show you what you can do to get your Apple TV working again if you've lost the remote control. So you might be thinking, well, why can't I just use my iPhone or iPad with the Apple TV remote app to control my Apple TV? Well, if you didn't pair your phone or tablet to the Apple TV before you lost the remote, you're going to run into this problem. The app requires you to enter a four-digit code into the Apple TV settings, which you can't do without the remote. How's that for a catch-22? Fortunately, there's another way that also doesn't require you to have the Wi-Fi set up. For this solution, you're going to need a Bluetooth wireless keyboard. Make sure it's Bluetooth and not a wireless keyboard that requires the use of a Wi-Fi receiver dongle. First, you're going to have to factory reset your Apple TV. To do this, open up iTunes on your computer. Then plug a micro USB cable into the USB port on the back of the Apple TV and connect it to your computer. On the Apple TV 4K, you will need a USB-C cable. Then plug in the power cable and connect it to a power source. If you have the Apple TV second generation, leave it unplugged. Now, in iTunes, the Apple TV should pop up as a device. Click on the button that says Restore Apple TV, then click Restore and Update. If you don't already have the latest software version, it will download first, then extract and restore the software. This process may take some time to complete. When finished, you'll see a prompt notifying you that the Apple TV has been reset to factory settings. Next, go ahead and plug the Apple TV back into your television and power it on. After the boot screen, you'll see the main setup screen, and at the bottom, it prompts you to pair a Bluetooth keyboard. So power the keyboard on and put it in pairing mode. When the Apple TV finds the keyboard, it'll ask you to enter a four-digit code on the keyboard. So I'll type those in using the numbers at the top. Then press enter on the keyboard. When successfully paired, you'll see this keyboard linked icon in the top left-hand corner of the screen. Now you can use the keyboard's arrow keys to navigate the Apple TV menus and complete the setup. You can either continue to use the Bluetooth keyboard as your remote control, or add your iPhone or iPad as a paired device to use as an Apple TV remote. For more information on how to do that, check out my other video in the info bubble above. Now if you don't have a Bluetooth keyboard and can't borrow one from a friend, instead of buying one, you might as well buy a replacement remote control from Apple, or a third-party universal remote like this one from Lucky Star. A replacement remote control, whether a genuine OEM Apple TV remote or third-party universal remote, will set you back about $10 to $20, but it'll be easier to set up without having to factory reset your Apple TV, and it'll work just like the original. Check out my review on the Lucky Star universal remote that I used to replace my lost remote in the info bubble above. I'll also leave a link to the product in the description below. I hope you found this how-to guide useful and were able to get your Apple TV working again. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and join me next time.